Look, Banjo Gold. Banjo Gold? You know, it's it's not Banjo Gold, it's Banjo Mold. <laughs> you see that? I started looking at it during our show last night, and it's, I've got like, I've got years of, like, there's lichen on here. It's, it's I've seen that on the head, but not yeah, on the It's just on disgusting. The so we got that. That's gross. And then this is all dried blood. Yeah. Which is, there's a lot of my DNA on this bench. <laughs> I go Cumberland Gap tuning, okay, so, yeah. which is you know a sawmill with a dropped, the dropped F, dropped the F, string. but then you drop the your middle G to an okay. F to match. So can you break it down in <clears throat> phrases? Yeah, all? yeah, kind of in phrases. So what I would say it still is an A B part. Yeah, and I think of the the funky dark low part. Yeah. Whether you call that A or B, I call that A part always. That part and then the pretty high part. You know, those are right. two things. But on the A part, um, the low part, we're gonna have what I like to call either uh, anticipation notes or a ghost note. Where what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're, that's your first note on the phrase. Kind of with it, okay. and you're gonna do that on that now F string. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you start yeah. with that. You start with your thumb. And that is the that is the. There's riff. another little phantom. Yes, yeah, so you're. Note. Well, no, you're gonna actually come on. Then and you come actually strum after play your drum. Your drum. You want to slur up to the, from second to third, and then you want to pull off from the second to an open one. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. We're already okay. in funky town. We're already in funky <laughs> town, right? Okay, so check this out. So if you're if you do that down, the whole thing is you just got to get back up. So check it out. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. it. Okay. Okay, but we have these nice lead-in notes, which is to do the open D up to the third fret. Okay. So, you can do that at the very beginning, you can do that yeah. on any phrase, you cannot do it. So right. you can start like this. Gotcha. So the first time we're gonna go. Yeah. Second time. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. Okay, next one, same thing as the first one. So if you break it down into four parts, yeah. first one you're going up, second yeah. one, third one, same as the first. But it doesn't end the same. <laughs> Check it out. Okay. Play me through what you just walked me through. So first one is. Yeah. Second, second one. Yeah. Okay. Third is the same. Third as first, one, but but it ends different. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. Yeah. And there's an ending, which is cool. That's yeah. you know. The ending starts with. Starts with a little pickup. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is there an extra beat in there for that pickup? Yeah, okay. this is a 
crooked, uh, like yeah. all great tunes. Yeah, like all great tunes. Yeah. Like all, all my all favorite tunes. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're a little crooked. Yeah. All right. Is that so, the whole A part? That is. Yeah. That is the whole A part. Right. And, okay, and look, you want to get into it, see if we can get a little groove. Here we go, it's slow. Yeah. First part. Second part. Third part. as you can get to sexy band. <laughs> Check this out. I want to give you, I already want to give you a variation because this is my okay. favorite thing about this one. Okay. So I'm that's gonna... just bending yeah. up to the up third. To the yeah, about. Yeah, vaguely, yeah. you can continue with this riff like this Alright, let's do the high part, which I think is a, is a real pretty part. If you're talking about a quacking duck, this is good. ducks yeah. taking flight. So you'll notice right away we got a commonality to the uh, the A part is that we got the ending is got the, the same. Ending. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's cool. Yeah. Simplest version I like is so we start off with a hammer on on a three, come up and you can use just your one finger, you know, up here on the seventh. But I like to cover them both. And yeah, it's a nice little interval. Yeah, you don't have to do the like Galax like there, but you you can, you know. You can actually bump to you there, yeah. Okay. And then the same thing coming back. time through yeah. so that if that's the first part first part yeah. being second part you, third yeah. part of this beat part is you know that's the same exact as Repeat, the first yeah. one yeah and the ending's the same as the a, the a part okay yeah yeah the first part first ready that too I think absolutely <laughs> all right let's check out let's check out this uh, let's check out this this B part of the variations yeah. which I like with either just um, doing rolls yeah um, either you're doing your rolls or you're playing chords yeah. and so <laughs> I'll sometimes gay like that too I forgot Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I realize I do that if I after slowing it down. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then. Dynamics yeah. in this tune too. 
like you know, yeah. you know, if you really, if you, that's what I like about it too. You're, you're hammering on some of those chords, and then yeah. you're kind of softly doing that before right. you get back with the phone. Now, if I was gonna roll it though. and you're only rolling oh, the yeah. entire time. Now Maybe. keep it going. Like that? Yep. Even through this part? Even through this part. does is it takes like a listener mostly and goes oh something fast is happening yeah yeah, yeah. but it's not fast it's just the old banjo trick (laughs) the old banjo (laughs) trick full disclosure now I might be making (laughs) I am making all this up no it's it's called the folk process the folk process happened to be somebody teaching me this uh, what is that 12 years ago now or so Um, I played it a whole lot solo yeah and you know done that and played all those riffs on it so right maybe you should go around telling everybody I mean, you're not going to like put it on the internet, are you? (laughs) No, no. no. (laughs) Trust me. (laughs) Nobody will see this. I do sometimes pull out the old cassette tapes of these lessons that I had. Oh, yeah. That's my mentor. Yeah. Who's that again? His name's Ed Verdick. Ed Verdick. Um, And he worked at the Old Town School of Folk Music, uh, where I was working and teaching at the time. Yeah. And so he learned from people that came through, like Mike Seeger, um, but also... Yeah, Ed, Ed is now a Jesuit priest oh, yeah. in the monastery. Yeah. And he still play banjo in the monastery? But you know, they said vow of poverty. And, and he yeah. said, so I have to give up everything? They're like, no, you're already... <laughs> you're like banjo poverty, they go hand in hand. Same thing. Yeah. Awesome, man. Thanks for doing this. Yeah, man, it was fun. Thank yeah, you. that's a great take. Yeah. That's on the pond.